Hi, good morning everyone. See Lubinatima Ayibon. Welcome to Mama's channel. Sinsi Nona. <laughs> okay, go back to being lazy. So I've kind of taken over the dining room and made it my mail room. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, this is the aftermath of online shopping. I waited until everything arrived at my house, but there are a few packages that I'm still waiting for. I thought, you know what, we need to unwrap these because I kind of forgot what I bought and I'm gonna make sure everything that I ordered came. I've got Crate and Barrel, Dick, Sporting Goods, Lulu's, DSW, Victoria's Secret, Macy's, maybe some other stuff I really can't remember. I don't know, maybe I can use this time to unwrap these with y'all, so. Let's go. All right, y'all, so for the purpose of time, I'm going to unbox, unwrap everything, and then kind of organize all of it. And then I'll come back and I'll show you what I got. Be right back. A few moments later. So let's start with the Crate and Barrel order. I love Crate and Barrel. It's one of my favorite places to shop. It's very simplistic and has that minimal style that I really like. Lots of grays and whites too that I am into right now. Like I said earlier, it's easy to shop online sometimes when there aren't a lot of products in stock right now in the stores. And there are surprisingly better deals if you go into the clearance tab or the sale tab. So most of the things, not just from Crate and Barrel, but from everywhere, I got either through a sale price or it was something that I received like promotional deals or reward points from that specific store. So I did not pay full price for a lot of these items. But anyways, let me show you first what I got from Crate and Barrel. So the first item here is a large scoop and spread. This is actually for Milo. <laughs> so I usually like to scoop him some peanut butter on a spoon and then he like just licks it away. This way he has his own little spatula slash large spoon. I can just scoop up the peanut butter or cream cheese and then he can just lick away. Okay. Well, I think he'll like it once I put something that he can eat. <laughs> So this next item, you're gonna think it's pretty silly that I bought it, but it was on sale and I think it was around $4, so I couldn't resist. This is a cherry pitter. It does look like I'm going to pierce my ear. This is something that I actually was curious to buy. I love cherries and cherry season is coming up and rather than kind of like maneuvering it and trying to like pick out the pit, or sometimes I have a fear of like choking um, on the pit, this is a great way just to remove it with this device, so love this next is just a stainless steel funnel bought this because i've been using like just paper ones i can dispose but having one that i can just rewash and reuse good deal next is an espresso spoon i actually bought it for my sugar jar easy way to just scoop out the amount of sugar and it's quite small too so it kind of gives me that measurement of all right maybe two spoons of sugar for each cup so i like this too super handy get it <laughs> next I have my cream and sugar set I love the wooden tray and I do love the wooden lid on the sugar container creamer has a mini spout I think when I do serve like guests for tea time I can use the spoon um, for the sugar so versatile there good deal this was actually advertised as a strawberry or berry holder if you're serving a lot of berries or you want to have a nice display during brunch or breakfast this is perfect but i'm actually going to use this for my eggs right now i have a glass bowl that i'm using for my eggs but when i saw this i was like aesthetically this looks a lot cuter so i'm going to be using this to store my eggs in the fridge next are just cooking utensils one for pasta and one for like a roast or carving meats so need these i bought measuring spoons and cups what I like about these is the white look and then also just the, the, mater the not material, but the, um, I don't know what you call it, but I do love how sturdy they are. And you can see that they have like the measurement on there like that, it looks so sleek. I have the KitchenAid measuring spoon and cup set now, but it's plastic and it's kind of like falling apart. The writing of the measurements is actually peeling off from 
putting it in the dishwasher a lot, but that's not gonna go to waste. I will probably donate a lot of the items that I have now to replace it with the new ones. Ordered two little mini glass bowls. Just having these on standby if I need to use them for, you know, dipping sauces or, or a side of fruit, or even like when I'm cooking and it calls for something like smaller size ingredients, I can just use these, so just good to have. I bought a set of eight cups and saucers. They displayed this cup and saucer for cappuccino, but I don't know, I kind of like this for like English breakfast tea. Finally, something that looks like it's made for tea and not for coffee. Did I look cool? <laughs> this is a little heavy because they're ceramic, but these are my new mixing bowl slash serving bowls. A set of five. Let's check out the sizes. One, two, three, four, Five. What I like about this is the look, the thicker rim around the top, and I've seen these a lot on social media and I was like, these are so cute. So I had to get a set myself. Perfect for mixing, perfect for salads or serving like large quantities um, like gravy. This bowl. Also bought these restaurant style mixing bowls too. There's three of them. I mean, this is really, really big. Definitely use this to mix a very large family sized chef salad marinating a large amount of meat, like chicken for biryani. This is definitely something that I will be using. Milo, where's mama? Enough of that. And finally, we have these casserole dishes. These are perfect size for a smaller dish option. And I have a set of four because more size, the better when it comes to a feast, right? And of course, this is the large casserole dish. This is going to be great for serving the main entree. I can just envision now like a roast or a roast chicken. But come Thanksgiving, I'll take a picture of my table and then you'll be like, oh yeah, I remember watching this video. She showed this to us when she unboxed it. <laughs> All right, so that was the end of our Crane Barrel haul. Let me go ahead and show you all the boxes that I received from the other stores, and then I'm going to do the same thing. Unbox, unwrap, and then have everything ready for me to show you. I'll be right back, and we'll get right back into it. All right, so next we have what I ordered from Macy's, a new comforter set. So I got this on sale during President's Day, which was sometime last month. This is the, a king set, just six piece comforter set. And it includes the pillowcases as well. It says here that this is a 1000 thread count and it is cotton rich. I've used this brand before and the material is super soft, kind of like silk. You definitely need something comfortable to sleep in because you are in bed for about, what, six to eight hours, supposed to be. I think I paid about $120 for this. Um, and I think original price is around $2.99. So really good steal from Macy's. The last thing I got from Macy's is a swimsuit cover-up. Um, it is super so cute. I do love the colors and how tropical it looks too. It is kind of a loose feel. It's like a kimono. This I think was not on sale though guys. I'm very picky when it comes to swimsuits and cover-ups. So even though I spent full price on this, so I, I got this because I really do like the color and I really do like that kimono style. So but hey, I saved money on some other items to make a little bit of a bigger purchase on an item like this. So next up, we have Michael Kors. I bought a couple of these duster bags. I bought the large size that you can use for your shoes, for your purses, or even for your dirty laundry when you're traveling. I think a total now of six of these duster bags, but they have great versatility and I use them for basically anything that I want, depending on what I'm doing or where I'm going. Last item that I got from Michael Kors, and I think this is like my favorite item that I got in all of the online shopping orders is my Michael Kors handbag. It is so tiny and so cute. It is a crossbody. It is olive green. And what I like about it is how compact it is. I do like a good small handbag, very minimal. Not that I don't have bigger ones, but when it comes to traveling, I don't like taking carry-ons unless it's like an international trip and you have to. But I plan on using this when I do travel. And then, you know, everyday use grocery shopping, you know, shopping, things like that. So, but it's so cute. I love the color. It goes well with a lot of my outfit choices. Yeah. What do you guys think? Next up, I have DSW. It is a huge warehouse full of shoes. They do have a great rewards program. The shoes that I got, I used my rewards points. These were, you know, on sale for me, <laughs> but yeah. Let me get to it. First up are these over the knee boots. They are suede. I believe the brand is Unisa Denzel, I believe. What I like about these are the heel. It's very comfortable and it's 
a heel that, you know, if I do run, I won't trip or fall. Um, especially with boots, you want to have something that is a little more comfortable. I would have to say it's a little bit risky to buy boots online because you never know if this part of the boot, I don't know what you call this, the shaft maybe, but this part of the boot may be a little bit too snug or too loose on your calf. Thank God this boot fits me like a glove. I really do like these and the way that they look on me. Next are these Jessica Simpson wedges. I believe these just came out and I think they were like maybe three or four days new to the website when I got them. They were full price, but again, I did have the rewards points from the program that um, when you sign up for online, you get them accumulated as you buy you know, your, your shoes. So I had enough to, I think, get like 10 or $15 off of these. They have the transparent straps. They come in neon pink and lime green, but I got these in the transparent ones because I thought I can wear them for outfits. I do love a nice wedge and they're very light and they're comfortable to wear. Thank you, Jessica Simpson. <laughs> so if you wanna see what the shoes look like on me, I gotcha. Here we go. All right, y'all, so the rest of my shopping orders come from different clothing companies. So we're gonna start off with Lulu's. I do love Lulu's because the sizes are perfect fit for me when I do order them. And they have such a great collection of clothes. Very organized website. On the left panel, everything is categorized. And if I want like a mini black dress, I can just pull that up and all these black dress profiles come up. Let me show you what I got. So first up is this lime green sweater. It's an oversized, which I like, but what I really like is the back. It has a little opening and then also the crisscross pattern. Can you see that? You can see that, right? I love the crisscross pattern in the back. So if you do wear a cute pair of jeans or shorts, it kind of like shows off your butt. So <laughs> that's really cute. I do love the color too. The lime green, I think will go really well with the handbag that I got, right? I might have to pair those up and take a picture and show y'all. <laughs> Next up is a lime green silky material dress top. You can wear this with jeans, maybe some black leggings or even like a cute short. Tie the straps in the back like a bow. You pull here to show off your sexy chest and cleavage. I'm a little nervous because it might be a little bit snug on me. I don't know. We'll see. So next I have this black blouse. I love the material and it has kind of like a see-through mesh look with a nice pattern. Puffy sleeves and a like a peplum bottom. Can you guys see that's kind of like flatter your waist a bit if you don't have hips like me? <laughs> Probably wear this with some cute jeans. Next is a simple black ribbed bodycon black dress. I plan on wearing this with a jean jacket and some white tennis shoes. Super simple, probably wear this um, just casually, but you can definitely dress this up. But I think that because of the ribbed look, it looks better worn casually. Last but not least from Lulu's, I got this purple romper, shimmery color. Pretty bold for me to wear, so I don't know how it'll look on me, but I think so far it might look really cute at night. The material, y'all, is really soft and super comfortable inside, so I don't think I'll have a problem with wearing this. Looking cute and feeling comfortable at the same time, sold. <laughs> All right, so next I have Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret usually has sales going on semi-annually, so two major sales throughout the year. But then online they have a bunch of sales going on throughout the year, which I like. So I did find a lot of these items through their clearance sale section. So let's see what I got. First, a lip gloss must have. I love the Victoria's Secret lip glosses because they smell great and they have that nice like shimmer, glossy look. I think these were two for six. So I got one for myself and one for my mom because she really likes these lip glosses too. So Goodbye. <laughs> Next, I have these travel lotions that you can't get enough of. I have the cocoa lotion and coconut oil and then the water lotion with hyaluronic acid and with hyaluronic acid and sea minerals. Super fancy, but they smell great and I love them and they are compliant with TSA, so great to have. I am a big fan of rose water, like natural rose water. So when I saw that they have a product that's called Rose Water Sparkle Body Mist, I just had to try it and I had to get it. Let me see here. Smells good. It kind of has like that nice rose water scent with a little bit of pear, pear berry maybe, but I really like this. It's very refreshing. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be using this a lot in the summertime. 
Last but not least, out of the accessories from Bath and Body, Bath and Body Works from Victoria's Secret, I have the Cocoa Vanilla Vanilla Bean Extract with Coconut Oil Body Scrub and then a cocoa pineapple with vitamin C and coconut oil. I like using body scrubs once or twice a week and the Victoria's Secret ones do not disappoint. I've used this one a lot and let me show you what it looks like. So it's like just plain white. It smells like a coconut cream pie. So I love that. I have the coconut pineapple. This is the first time that I'm using this. This one smells like you're on a beach with a tropical drink in your hand. Not gonna lie, this smells amazing. I think I'm gonna use this tonight. These are sandals from Victoria's Secret Pink. They were on sale. I usually get, you know, more of the darker colors for sandals, but I can wear these as house shoes. My hardwood floors, I just have to be careful not to get them all dirty and scratched up right away. But on sale, my size sold. <laughs> all right, so next is all the clothes that I got from Victoria's Secret. I got a tankini. This is just a simple black tank top for me, which I like. I don't want it to be fully covered, but I am modest about my body and I don't want to show off too much of it. So I have this tank top to kind of like suck me in, but also kind of not show the parts that I don't want to show off. I have these bottoms here. These are like the boy short bottoms. They had the bikini bottoms for these but again i like to be a little modest when it comes to bathing suits so i bought these separately a little bit i think of a price difference i just didn't like the bikini bottom and i think this will look really cute with the cover-up that i got from macy's so i do work from home primarily and i need a lot of kind of loungewear to wear in the house and victoria's secret had a great sale online sale for loungewear just a couple of shirts uh, this is kind of like a really really big oversized t-shirt just a loungewear or just you know sitting on the couch vegging out eating a tub of ice cream and not feeling like you're bloated <laughs> has a great message it says i am strong you are strong we are strong great message love the pink more kind of like simple t-shirts that i can wear here's another one gray and then this is a kind of like a cut off like off the shoulder sweater you like the pink in that neon rainbow look and it is a nice light gray super soft kind of like fleece material i do have one of these in a neon pink and so when i saw this one on sale i was like i need to get this snatch it right away and that's what i did next are just a couple of shorts that i can wear around the house goes with my t-shirts so yeah, this is like a nice fleece material, but very light. So it's not going to like make you sweat either. Along with this, it's a little more thicker, but still very comfortable. On the back, it says love pink. So gotta love that. <laughs> Last but not least, I got a robe. It is in a, it's like a lavender, I would say. And it's terry cloth, like a waffle sort of uh, pattern. It has a hoodie and it has your signature VS logo. I actually sized up. I went medium large because I like something a little more loose fitting when I take after I take a shower and get ready. It has the band here that I can just tie really tightly around my waist and it'll be all good. The last few items are from Dick Sporting Goods and they are all Nike, I believe. I don't know if you can tell by now, but I am a Nike girl. I do like Nike. <laughs> I love these sweaters. They're oversized and they're very comfortable to wear just with any anything really shorts leggings working out staying in i did buy two more colors so here is the lavender one very very soft material bunch of washes it still feels very very soft and i think it was a two for 60 kind of deal and i think one of these are like around 50 dollars. so i think i saved a couple bucks buying two of them i like to make myself feel like i actually saved a lot when maybe i haven't I'm like such a sucker for marketing. And so I think I'm like probably one of their best consumers. <laughs> but yeah, here is the white version. I really like this one too. I'm a little scared though, because you know, with my makeup and all, I don't want to, you know, stain it right away, like in the neck area. That sounds so gross, but it happens. Ladies, if you know, you know, even guys, if you know, you know. <laughs> I can't wait to wear this maybe with biking shorts that are Nikes or, you know, just a loose pair of sweatpants even. Next are the Nike Flex running shorts. They are dry fit. Love the color, of course, but I do like how thin the material is for running especially. It's just super, super soft and super light. Very comfortable when you are running or jogging outside. Next two are just capris. They were originally $55, but I know I did not spend $55 on these, girl. I spent, I think, like 
less than 20. I love the mesh here on the calf part of running shoes that are neon pink and blue. So I think that's why I bought these because I was like, hmm, this will be cute. And it has a zipper on the back that you can keep any, maybe like a few cars in there. Maybe probably not your phone or anything like that unless, you know, sometimes I do that and I feel like my, my capris are like weighing me down or they'll fall off because it's so heavy back there. I probably won't use this for anything, but it's just cool to have that feature. This is another Capri set. It is a tight fit mid-rise. Really not my style to begin with because it has like the little stripes here of the white and green. But hey, it was on sale and I can probably, you know, wear this with something that I have top wise. If not, then I'll just go shopping for something that matches this. <laughs> Last Nike item that I bought, just a simple crop top. I do like buying something a little bit more on the larger side so I can wear this in the house. Something a little more comfortable for me. I do have about four of these, but they're all in black with the white logo. So I have a gray one too now. These are a little bit pricey though. I think original is, price is $30. Probably not one of their most popular items so this was on sale I remember around $12. Sorry y'all my recording just cut off but yeah love this. Probably wear this in the house or when I'm running errands. Last but not least I have this very very cute like running tank front by North Face. Also the back how it crisscrosses again to show your your butt and your workout gear but it is very very comfortable. The material is very soft. I think this will probably match really well with the capris that I said that I didn't have a top for so win-win. <laughs> All right, y'all. So that ends the online shopping haul. And I hope you got to see a few of the things that I buy on sale. And if you have any questions, please comment below. This vlog is a little bit longer than I intended. I will have the timestamps on each of the segments. So if you want to skip through, go for it. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching everyone. And as always, cook with love, live to eat, and enjoy. Until next time. Aibo on.